foundation in the 19th century, Addis Ababa has always seemed like a gateway, a portal to another world. Um, it's the teeming capital of this nation of 100 million people, the second largest in Africa. It's the diplomatic capital of the continent and the only non-colonized country, although the Italians did try. What is it? Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Okay. Dog, dog food? What is this? Dog food? No, no, no. Okay. No? Okay. Yeah, I've done everything from being a nomad to a backpacker to more luxurious traveler. I don't know. I guess I've done everything. I bought, I sold everything I owned. Okay. Got rid of my car, my apartment, and yeah. booked a one-way ticket to Mexico. Okay. Um, bounced around all over Mexico. Been to every continent in the world. Now I'm in Ethiopia because this is like the cradle of human civilization. And this is like where it all began. It means a lot to me because uh, we walked out of this place like humans were like these animal primitive beings and we had the courage we had like something deep inside of us that said we need to leave this place we're explorers we're adventurers and we literally walked out of this continent <laughs> We're in that like inner core of what being a human being started here. So I wanted to come here and see like maybe there's like a connection. Maybe I could see some of that. Maybe I could like touch and see this history. But it's important to me because I feel like the next step, I don't know, part of human evolution, but the next step of like humans doing that same act of walking out of Africa is us leaving Earth and colonizing space. And uh, this is kind of first legit Ethiopian, really unique stuff called chichepsu. Um, it's basically like a soft bread that's been, um, I'm guessing, cooked in some kind of butter. Uh, has uh, a bit of sp like spice and cinnamon, and it's pretty damn delicious. And I think that might be honey there. Fantastic. All right, just trying my own cup of Tomoka coffee. Apparently, the best in Ethiopia, the country which gave the world coffee. That's good. Rich, flavorful, fresh. It was worth the uh, the odyssey we took to get here. Just arrived to Bahir Dar on Lake Tana, largest lake in Ethiopia. Incredible giant flock of huge African pelicans. Apparently, Steve says I'm going to see a hippo. Here I am on uh, Lake Tana, the largest lake in Ethiopia. Um, the area is famous for its monasteries, centuries old monasteries on some of these islands you see in the background. I'm standing in front of uh, Aswa Zarem Monastery on Zagi Island, one of the ancient 
Ethiopian monasteries of Lake Tana. About to go inside, shall we? These uh, ancient frescoes depict old Christian scenes. We can see the um, ubiquitous heaven, angels, hell. It's got the story of Mary Magdalene down here and all types of representation from ancient Christendom. The Ethiopians are a very devout spiritual people and you can feel it all over this incredible country Salam. so uh, yeah we are at Blue Nile Falls uh, here 5,335 kilometers all the way out to the Mediterranean Sea at Alexandria, Egypt, and the Nile Delta, um, passing Khartoum, Sudan, where it becomes the White Nile. Um, what a blessing it is to be here in the Amhara region of Ethiopia. Ah, the fit of 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 the fit of